This is episode 65. So the first part of having a good e-commerce SEO strategy is to focus on your technical SEO performance so you can see what exactly you should be improving on. So in this episode, I will go over what tools you need and what you should be looking out for. Welcome to the Calm Marketer Podcast. My name is Kenneth Fong, a digital marketer on a mission to help businesses thrive. I'll bring you on my marketing journey where you'll get to learn from my experiences as an INFP navigating an extroverted world and get actionable marketing tips for your business. Thanks for spending some time with me today. Now let's begin. Technical SEO can be a huge make or break component in any online store, um, be it e-commerce or even lead gen websites as well. But today's episode is going to be focusing on e-commerce stores. So I want to first start off by telling you that there are a couple of tools that you can use to analyze and audit the technical side of your website. Of course, there are manual ways, and I always recommend for advanced SEOs to go the manual route. Uh, But for the most part, using tools to streamline, speed up, and just make things easier on yourself is really great. So I highly recommend using tools as long as as well as the manual method um, if you can. So, but the two tools that I do recommend is Screaming Frog and SEMrush. So Screaming Frog and SEMrush are the two tools that I recommend you use for a technical SEO audit for your site. Um, So for Screaming Frog, um, they have a annual subscription and it's a little over $100 Per year, and that's really not too much money considering it will do a lot of the analyzing and parsing of data for you. And SEMrush, I think they start at I think like sixty or seventy some dollars a month. Um, so that is a much more expensive tool, but it does have a lot more other uh, features and functionality as well. Um, but I highly recommend Screaming Frog over SEMrush for the technical side of SEO. So here are the things that you should be looking out for um, for a technical SEO audit. And what's great about Screaming Frog is that it'll kind of show you all of the issues on your site. And all you need to do is filter down and um, get a list of all the pages that have issues. So here are the things that you should be looking out for. First thing is duplicate content. Now, duplicate content can be huge for e-commerce sites because there are so many SKUs, so many products that are identical to each other in terms of the content. And you can have literally 10 pages, 10 URLs just for one SKU or for one product. And that is a huge no-no in terms of SEO if you are not doing it properly. So um, a lot of times you might have, for example, Black Friday sales or a special promotion going on. And you might have a lot of the same duplicate pages targeting those specific keywords. So for example, you might have a page with the exact same products with the exact same content for Black Friday, and then the same for Cyber Monday, and then the same for Valentine's Day, so on and so forth. So what you want to do is make sure that those duplicate pages have a no index tag applied to them. All right, because these pages, they are mainly for your marketing campaigns, um, for people who are on your site. And you don't want Google to index these pages or crawl these pages because they are duplicate, right? So um, see what kind of duplicate pages you have and either uh, redirect them or no index them and uh, set up any canonical tags if if that is the route you want to go. 
So let me review. So no index tag basically means that you're telling Google not to put that page on google.com. A canonical tag basically is a 301 redirect for search engines. So adding a canonical tag will basically um, tell Google to focus on a different page that's, that's the main one. All right, but it doesn't mean that users will be redirected because users can see every single page, uh, but it's just the search engines that will be the ones redirected to another page. And then a 301 is for search engines and users. So users, if they go to a page that's 301 redirected, it'll go to a different page, not the page that was redirected, right? So you have three different options for duplicate content. And that come, come, kind of goes to the next point that you need to look out for is missing canonical tags, right? So you want to uh, go into Screaming Frog and you can actually filter all the pages that have missing canonical tags. And you wanna make sure that each page has a canonical tag, all right? So most of the pages will be a self-referencing canonical tag. So that basically means that you are telling Google that this URL is the exact page that you want them to crawl, to read, and to uh, rank in Google. All right, so um, a canonical tag, again, basically tells Google that they need to consider this page as the definitive URL to crawl and rank. And the third thing you need to look out for is missing or duplicate title tags. Now, title tags are considered the one of the number one things that will affect your rankings in Google. So make sure you are creating title tags for pages that do not have them and changing up the duplicate title tags, all right? And you can filter this in Screaming Frog as well. So all of these things that I'm gonna be listing out, you can filter it in Screaming Frog, which is amazing. Now with the duplicate title tags, you could change um, each one by maybe the size, the color, um, the type, or if there's a specific um, serial number. Those are great pieces of keywords that you can add to make each duplicate title tag different. Now, the next thing you should be looking out for is missing or duplicate meta descriptions. So this is important as well because you don't want any page that doesn't have a meta description or has a duplicate meta description. The next one is missing alt tags. So for your site, you might have hundreds of upon thousands of images. And with images, you can add HTML alt tags that help people who are um, who can't uh, read or see um, understand what the what the image is about, and it helps Google better understand what the image is about as well. So you want to make sure you have alt tags for all of the images on your site. And the next thing is to find any 404 error pages. So you definitely don't want any broken pages on your site because that will give you a very, very poor user experience. And you want to make sure that people who are on your site do not get hit with a broken page. So you can use Screaming Frog to filter out all of the 404 pages and figure out what to do with them. Um, you can redirect them, and that's probably the best option is to redirect those pages, um, or you could check the reason why those pages are broken and fix them too, right? So you could fix them um, and make them live as well. And the next thing is to uh, find any de-indexed pages. So sometimes websites might have pages that are unintentionally de-indexed, which can cause a drop in organic traffic, right? Because if you are telling Google not to index pages, People can't find them on Google. And if they can't find them on Google, then you will not get that traffic. So this can be a pretty common issue if you have developers building out pages, um, building out new sections of a site, and while they are in the development process, they might add the no index tag on them. Um, and then when they launch them, they forget to remove the uh, no index tag. And that's a... Uh, 
pretty common actually. So you want to make sure that the pages uh, don't have a DN, uh, no index tag, right? So uh, check, check that out. And the next one is to check to see if your sitemap is updated and or if you have a sitemap. All right, so make sure you have a sitemap and uh, update it if necessary. And the last thing that I want to discuss in today's episode is website speed. So everyone hates a slow website and speed is so important in maintaining and improving conversions. So if a site takes longer than three seconds, almost half of all visitors will drop off the site. So you want to make sure your site loads in under three seconds. Okay, there are a lot of uh, WordPress plugins, different tools out there that can improve your website speed. So I highly recommend you focus on speed. And honestly, just speed alone can um, increase your conversion rate by 40%. I've read um, tons of reports that show just an increase in speed will increase your conversions instantly. And that's a huge win, right? That's a huge win for yourself and or your client. So focus on website speed. All right, so those are the biggest things that I wanted to point out in today's episode in terms of the technical SEO side. And um, in the next episode, I will be talking about the other parts of having and creating a best e-commerce SEO strategy. So with that said, I will speak to you on the next episode.